Brothers Garden Market, and I'm joined by Caleb Johnson, and we are headed into the year where people are planting new plants, and many people actually have clay soil here in the valleys, and what do people need to know if they're planting new plants and they run into that clay soil? Yeah, so clay soil uh, can be hard to get new trees, shrubs, perennials to really take off, mm -hmm. so one of the best things you can do is add a conditioner or mm -hmm. compost to the soil, and basically what that conditioner or compost does is it just adds nutrients and bacteria that are missing from the clay soil. Clay mm -hmm. soil does not have as much uh, of those beneficial nutrients and bacteria, so a conditioner or compost will make sure that that's available to that plant. Mm -hmm. And I've heard of this before, lime. What does lime actually do? Yeah, so lime you can get in lots of different forms, but lime breaks up the clay soil, so actually loosens it so that you can get drainage, you can get other bacteria and nutrients in, so just a loosening agent. Mm -hmm. And then you also have a soil activator and earthworm ca castings, right? Yeah, ca castings, castings, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's all, you know, it's all good. <laughs> uh, those are basically just more nutrients and bacteria that you can add to the soil. Mm -hmm. So the more, the bigger the population of those things, the more it can turn that clay soil into organic matter that the plants can actually use. And then something you were saying too, you don't want to just dig a hole and just dump this in, put your plant in there, it doesn't quite mean that that plant is going to survive. Yeah, you want to um, mix some of your native clay soil in with whatever you put in so that the plant gets used to growing in some of the good stuff and some of the old stuff that's there. Well, thank you, Caleb. And if you have any questions about planting and if you've got that clay soil, you can head to our website at kezi.com.